What's up? It's your boy Dynast. At the end of this video, make sure you go to www.dynastmere.com. Check out our indigenous African art, jewelry, fashion, and accessories. Also, go to searchforhuhu.com. Uh, learn more information on the documentaries we're shooting. Also, contribute towards the documentaries. Last but not least, go to Amazon.com. Search your name, Dynast Mirror. Buy a book. I wrote them to support and buy one. Wanted to shoot this video on. You know, when is the, I guess, the best time to buy a ticket to Africa? Um, for me, I've had a lot of luck um, in buying tickets, or from what I've researched online, to get a good, a great deal. Is usually from January to beginning of May. Summer, for some reason, is expensive as hell. But then I'm surprised because around the holiday season, like Thanksgiving and Christmas, tickets aren't that expensive. So I would suggest. Uh, if you're going, you know, buy a ticket from like January to, you know, right around May. And then again, um, from probably like end of September to all the way to January. Summer is expensive as hell. But the thing is, you know, if you want to find a good deal, you sometimes have to buy a ticket probably like six to seven months in advance. And I'll give you a prime example. I just bought my ticket to uh, Ghana, to Accra. Um, leaving November, Thanksgiving Day actually. Leaving November 23rd and coming back December 4th. So, I used my freaking flyer miles, my Delta Sky miles. Saw a ticket last night for 70,000 miles. It's like, look, I'm going to get it. But I didn't want to pull the trigger on it because there's a couple more people couple other people that um, they're planning on traveling with me, which I'm going to get into um, in a minute. So I reached out to them and said, hey, I found a deal on some tickets. Let's ex act fast because they're cheap or inexpensive. Um, another thing, too, if you if you find a ticket, a round trip ticket to Africa, anywhere in Africa for less than a thousand dollars, you need to jump on it. But here's the catch. Uh, Turkish Airlines, they're at Emirates. They usually have good deals. But the issue with Turkish, Air Turkish Airlines is you're going to have to fly from anywhere in America all the way to Istanbul, then to your destination. So, for example, I flew uh, Turkish Airlines back in, first time I went to Senegal, first time I went to Dakar, probably back in 2013, I think it was. So, I flew from L.A., all the way to Istanbul, just because I wanted to chase a deal, but it was inconvenient as hell. So I flew from LA all the way to Istanbul. That was like a 16, 17 hour flight. It was crazy. Then from Istanbul to Dakar. So like, I, it, it, it was crazy. So if you could find a ticket for less than a thousand, where you're either flying direct or you have a layover in Europe at least, go ahead and do it. Go ahead and get the ticket. That's number one. So if you find a deal like that, hop on it. Uh, Freaker Flyer Miles, uh, Delta Sky Miles. If you find a ticket uh, that's 70,000 miles or less, hop on it. And this is where I made the mistake. So last night, uh, there was a ticket from Atlanta to JFK. And then JFK, JFK flies direct on Delta to Accra. Then on my way back, uh, I'm going to do Accra to Amsterdam, spend some time in Amsterdam, then come back to Atlanta. Ticket was like 70,000 sky miles, uh, $185 because you had to pay the taxes. So 70,000 sky miles and then it was like 158 something like that dollars to pay the taxes. Called a couple of people that were, uh, were gonna, that are interested in rolling with me or are going to roll with me. Um, Said, hey, got the ticket, found a ticket, you know, let's get it. So I waited till this morning just to get confirmation from everybody if it's cool, if the time works for them. The damn ticket went up to 85,000 sky miles. So if you see a deal, act fast. I know sometimes you want to coordinate with other people, but y'all ain't got to sit together on a plane. We're all adults. And a lot of times this whole let's coordinate together is so we can sit next to each other on a plane. We're grown. You know, the thing I hate in is when, you know, a couple, here we go, prime example, a couple 
the buy a ticket you know I guess the buy tickets sitting not sitting next to each other and then you know they want to come and ask somebody inconvenience somebody oh can I have your seat so I can sit next to my spouse but why didn't y'all buy a ticket together where you guys were sitting where you guys could sit together in the first place so you know again or even with friends just stuff like that I mean we ain't got to sit together on the plane it's okay you know as long as we're going to the same destination we don't have to be right next to each other but some people they just have to so, you know, basically, if you find a good deal to Africa, buy your ticket. Okay, you can't wait to pull the trigger because these prices mm -hmm. change. Because, like I said, I, I just wasted 15,000 sky miles. Well, not wasted, but, you know, I could have saved 15,000 sky miles and used that for another trip, like a domestic trip, uh, somewhere in America. So, if you find a good deal, buy your ticket as soon as possible. Pull the trigger and then let your friends know later. Or whoever you're going with later. Because we all gonna get on the same plane. Trust me, there's room for us. We just not, not we just might not be able to sit together. And even if we don't get on the same plane, I mean, mm -hmm. hey, I'll come, I'll make sure we come meet you at the airport or whatnot. You'll be fine. Uh, so again, just to kind of recap, summer sucks flying to Africa because tickets are expensive. Uh, you still can find some good deals. Uh, if you find something less than a thousand dollars round trip, where you don't have to fly to Europe or uh, the Middle East, have a layover, and then come to Africa, buy it. Meaning, if you find a direct flight to Africa from America or uh, a layover in Europe to Africa for less than a thousand, buy the ticket now. Don't wait. Don't call your friends and say, hey, there's a ticket. What do you want to do? Just buy a ticket. Shoot first. Ask questions later. Uh, Sky Miles, any freaking fly miles. I don't know how they work with the other carriers. I used uh, American Airlines before. Damn, phone is vibrating. Turn that off. I used American Airlines before. And I think same thing. Like anything less than like 70,000 miles round trip, buy the ticket. Um, yeah, just... If you see a good deal, buy a ticket. That's all I got to say. Um, also, too, uh, but one thing, if you buy t uh, a ticket, you know, like in the springtime or I think I'm trying to figure out, like, Africa has its rainy season, like around March through May. A lot of the majority, a lot of but the majority of Africa does. So even though the tickets are not that expensive and you find a cheap ticket. There's a reason why they're dirt cheap around March and May. Because that's the rainy season. Um, yeah, just when you find a deal, buy your ticket. In fact, I bought a ticket round trip out of D.C. to Dakar, Senegal, South African Airways, Airlines. For 650 bucks one year. It was perfect. Cannot find that deal again. Like I said, you might find sim something similar with uh, Turkish Airlines. But again, the inconvenience of having to fly all the way to Istanbul, then all the way back, you know, especially if you're traveling to the West, West, uh, West Africa. So flying from D.C. to Istanbul to Istanbul to the cars, inconvenient as hell. So unless you just are just trying to pinch dollars to save that much money. So, yeah, opportune time to fly to Africa where tickets are not expensive is any time but summer. Um, Freaking flyer miles. 70,000 miles or less for a round trip ticket to Africa, buy the ticket. So that's it. Just want to share that with you. Uh, follow me on um, social media. Search for Huru on Instagram, Snapchat, Facebook, and Twitter. Dinah Samir. Till next time, I'm out.